What is up, guys? It is your boy, MC Rules, here for another Hero Kantare video. And uh, we've got the info for tomorrow's maintenance, and we got some pretty unexpected information. So it actually turns out, I don't know how many of you are counting, but it turns out that tomorrow is actually our global server's 100 day anniversary. So they seem to be actually doing a lot of pretty interesting stuff for our anniversary. Uh, we have a quest house. So uh, I'm not sure what this quest house is. I assume it's just more quests and you can get some, you know, some more stuff. So, but you know, new quest is always good. It's going to be in the world tab. So it's probably going to be, I don't, I don't know. You never really know what it is. Um, we have an increase of a level cap. This is pretty huge, actually, because this could be, this is going to be a gigantic stat jump for literally everyone's heroes. So, uh, this is probably gonna be, like, mm, that's gonna cost a lot of resources, I'd assume, for the level break. But, yeah, this, that's gonna, like, obviously, it's just a huge power creep, pretty much, but, like, you know. Uh, we've got the max level break, which is cool. Uh, we've got some festival events. We've got a uh, celebration. So we've got these world cubes coming out. So uh, it's obviously these world cubes for all the different webtoons. I assume they're going to have like... Unless these are the banners, which would be cool because that's a crazy banner right there. But I assume it's going to have all the characters from the webtoon on that banner. So, off the top of my head, I think that either the hardcore leveling, uh, actually, it's probably the Tower of God banner. Because what, Tower of God, you've got Flame Kun, Bomb, Kaiser, Elaine, like, Viol. Yeah, this is probably going to be the best banner to summon on, if you're going to summon on any of these banners. Which I might... Not, I, I mean, I don't know. If you're looking for, like, one of these characters, this is probably a pretty good banner to summon on. Um, so we're getting this Essence of Centum, which I assume we're getting from these events, or you purchase them. Obviously, you can also use gems as usual. But, uh, yeah, these are gonna be, you know, just four world cubes at once entering the game, so that's gonna be pretty intense. Um, each world cube guarantees you get the heroes belonging to the specific world only, e.g. you can only get God of High School characters from the God of High School cubes, makes sense. And then, yep. We've got the 100 Festival Mission Event and Exchange Shop. So they're actually giving us 100 free summons, so you can guarantee yourself a, you know, free 10 pool on any of them. Which is, you know, cool. 100 day anniversary, you get a free 10 pool. That's obviously, free 10 pools, <laughs> that's... You, you, you don't want to skip a free 10 pool. And then you can get various epic rewards by playing and daily login into Hero Kantare during the event period. All good, all good news. So then uh, we've got new packages, new hero pass, obviously, new relay package, 100 day festival packages, and then the max level break package, which I assume would just be a ton of coins, a ton of level up material, and like a ton of uh, advancement material, sorry, and like level up upgrade materials and stuff. And maybe some gems and something like that. So we've got the finished events and packages. Uh, we've got the pickup queue for Queen No Name and PU ending. I still haven't updated you guys for what actually ended up happening on that banner, but I'll g g get around to that eventually. Uh, we've got the Otherworld boss event ending, finally, because <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I hated this event, and I'm sure a lot of other people hated this event because it was kind of like, I don't know, it never really worked properly. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This just wasn't a great event, but you know, it's an extra event. A little bit of extra rewards, like, you know, you can't really complain. No. You got the level up mission for Queen No Name ending, so for everyone who pulled her, I hope you finish those missions. It's just extra stuff. Uh, the relay packages for August and the August Hero Pass ending. So then, uh, obviously we've got some bug fixes. Oh, my battery's running away. Whoops. So we've got some bug fixes. 
Uh, it does not look like account link will provide a reward. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the bug is fixed that pure green iron can grant regeneration in silent status. See, some of these bugs, like, you, they kind of just hide, like, huge bugs like this into, like, just these bug fixes and stuff. Because, like, in PvP, that's, you know, that's a pretty serious bug. Like, if it happened in PvP and you silence her and she's still regening, like, that's a pretty, you know, sizable bug and for someone who might use, like, Su Jin in their PvP team, and then they silence Pure Green Iron, and then she just doesn't get silenced, so. You know, it's, this is, like, a really, really, really good update. There's gonna be a lot of new stuff coming to the game. Finally, the past week has been a little bit dead, but let me know what you think. Obviously, 100 free summons means you literally get a free summon. I probably wouldn't spend them on any of these banners, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what they really look like. So, uh, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. If you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.